What if your phone didn't just respond to taps, but started to anticipate them? Not with loud alerts, not with flashy animations, but quietly, like it was learning your rhythm, your habits, even the way you breathe when you're focused? That sounds impossible. But what if I told you it's already happening on your Galaxy phone? That's not science fiction, that's one UI 8.5. I'm Alex from Smart Review, and today, here we are diving into the technologies. Please don't forget to subscribe to Smart Review so you can get notified on daily based tech updates. You know that feeling? When you pick up your phone and instead of fighting menus, hunting for settings, or waiting for apps to load, everything just flows no lag, no confusion. No, where did I put that thing again? It's not because the hardware changed, dot, it's because the software finally grew up, dot, and after weeks of testing One UI 8.5 across the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Z Fold 8, and even my A56, one thing is clear, this is the most human, thoughtful, and surprisingly intelligent software Samsung has ever made, not flashy, not gimmicky, dot, just, better, dot, let me show you why, We'll start where every day begins, the lock screen, open your eyes, pick up your phone, and boom, there it is dot, but this time, something feels different, the wallpaper, perfectly centered, no more awkward cropping cutting off faces or landmarks, Samsung finally added adaptive wallpaper alignment, it analyzes your photo, and adjusts the clock and widgets so nothing gets blocked, even cooler, the two new dynamic wallpapers under the colors section, they shift subtly throughout the day, cool blue tones in the morning, warm purples by night. It's not loud, it's calming. Like your phone knows when you need peace and the shifting clock? Still magical. It dances around your wallpaper, avoiding key subjects. Want it bigger, smaller? You can adjust transparency and size, all while keeping that elegant motion. Now, let's go to the home screen, swipe up into the app drawer, cleaner layout, better spacing, smarter search. Type calendar and it suggests events too. Tap once, done. But the real upgrade? The redesigned quick panel. Tap and hold on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or NFC and now you get a live preview of connected devices. Want to switch headphones? Tap and go. No digging through menus dot and yes, you can now drag and rearrange toggles however you want. Love dark mode? Put it at the top. Hate NFC, bury it. This is customization that actually feels good. Even the volume and brightness sliders are vertical now. I know, sounds small, but try it. On a big phone, sliding your thumb up or down is way more natural than stretching across the screen. It's one of those changes that seems obvious. Once someone finally does it, the media player also got a glow up. Album art flows smoothly. Controls are bigger and when music plays, the whole panel pulses softly with the rhythm, like your phone is breathing with the beat. Now, let's talk productivity, because Samsung gets it now dot in multitasking. You can resize split screen apps in extreme ratios, like 90 tenths, perfect for keeping a chat active while working full screen. And the best part, the minimized app stays docked, ready to tap back into. No disappearing panels, just seamless flow. For creators, the camera app has a new clean viewfinder mode. Hides all icons and overlays so you can focus purely on your shot. Plus, five new cinematic LUTs color presets let you grade videos instantly, right in the camera. Want that moody film look? Done. Dreamy pastel vibe? Click dot and the gallery app, gorgeous. Floating frosted glass menus glide over your photos. Albums show your latest image upfront. And there's now a private album, locked behind fingerprint authentication, Perfect for hiding sensitive moments or personal files. Oh, and my files? Finally, it makes sense. Downloaded files can now be filtered by source, Chrome, Drive, email, so you're not lost in a sea of PDFs from six months ago. Tap documents and boom, everything's there. Now, let's talk AI because Samsung didn't just add features, they made them useful. Meet Touch Assistant, highlight any text, and it gives you instant summaries, translations, or simplified explanations. Reading a long article? Highlight a paragraph gives summarize. Boom, done. There's also smart clipboard. Copy your recipe, and it suggests saving it as a note. Copy a foreign phrase? Instant translation. Copy a date. It offers to add it to your calendar. It's like your clipboard grew a brain dot and for creators. Social composer is magic. 
Upload a photo gives AI rights a caption based on what's in the frame. Tagging location, people, mood, it's ready to post. No more staring at a blank caption box, even quick share got a major upgrade. New pixel style grid layout, batch file previews and cross-platform support. Sharing multiple files? Now fast, clean and frictionless, and behind the scenes, Knox Matrix quietly rolled out post-quantum cryptography, encryption that can survive future quantum attacks. Your data, protected against tomorrow's hackers, not just today's, now. Here's the coolest part. One UI 8.5 feels alive, app animations are slightly slower, giving every interaction a more deliberate, thoughtful feel. Not sluggish, just calm. The settings app is decluttered. Navigation is smoother. There's even a floating back button that previews where you're going and decks. Finally feels like a real desktop OS, resistible windows, drag and drop, wireless mirroring without lag, rollout started in November 2025 for S25 series, then expanded to Z Fold 8, Z Flip 8, and mid-tier S series devices by early 2026. This isn't just a staggered release, it's a promise that Samsung wants everyone to experience the future. Not just flagship owners. So, is One UI 8.5 perfect? Almost. Dot, it's not flawless. There are still minor bugs, a flickering icon, a misaligned widget. But these are the final cracks before something truly great emerges, because One UI 8.5 isn't about adding more. Dot, it's about doing less. But better, smoother, quieter. Dot, it's software that doesn't fight for your attention, it respects it. And if this is the direction Samsung is heading, we're not just getting a new interface, we're getting a new relationship with our phones, one where technology doesn't dominate, it disappears. If this felt like a breath of calm in a noisy tech world, hit like, share it with someone who needs to see it, and stay subscribed to Smart Review, because the future of tech isn't loud. It's quiet, and it's already here. Thank you.